have six national motocross titles, two world snowcross titles, and challenge. I've started racing uh, snowmobiles two years ago, but I've been snowmobiling since I was like four years old. We had an oval that went around our yard, and I would have to put a stake on my rock garden and say, get off my rock garden, and they jumped that one. He would, anyway. When we used to ride around the track, all of us, we wouldn't really try the big jumps that Blair did. Blair's sudden success surprised me, not that he would be champion in that, but that it came basically overnight. We always knew he was good on bikes and uh, the things he used to do on the sleds. We didn't think anybody else could do it. The competition or the camera right now, I just tell him I probably can be beaten, but uh, I don't think anytime soon. I exist on a higher plane. Me and my brother, uh, we always used to race motocross. Ever since last year, since uh, I came into the sport, a lot of guys bought motocross bikes. The motocross helps my snowcross a lot. I've been racing motocross for like 10 years. The similarities between the motocross and the snowcross is uh, probably the mental attitude it takes to go out there and uh, race. You got like your strength from the snowmobiles and then you got your endurance from the motocross, which uh, I think you know helps me both ways. I am the Superman. I'm I Superman. Am. Superman. I just call him Bad Hair Blair. I'm a little, I guess, Clark Kent and uh, a little funky. I save my funkiness till I have my helmet on and I'm out on the racetrack. The Superman is uh, basically a move a couple of motocross guys were doing. When I first started doing it, it would just be uh, like going across the ditch and just hitting the bank. And I guess like the force of the slit hitting the bank would just kick out and he just threw his legs right back. Snowmobiling is probably in my blood and racing. It was almost like an addiction. I gotta go fast. I feel the need for speed sometimes. <laughs>